is the start of my uh, kegel build. Cheers. That's what's inside a keg. It's just a ball valve or ball ball lock there. It's just got two drive tangs, standard looking thread, seal, and that's your dip tube. There's nothing on the end to stop anything from getting picked up. That's it. <coughs> on the end of there. The keg that's a uh, clickable with a tri clamp fitting on the end there. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that in here. That's where like a tri clover clamp will clamp on. So I'm going to try and re retain that fitting because maybe I'll use it later on. But as you can see, this keg's a bit, a bit fucked up. It's been thrown around a bit. So I'm going to try and straighten it up and then use the the outer rim is a bit of a guide when I try and, or when I do cut open the top. Um, it's going to be a, an all-in-one kind of single vessel job, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. So this is how I'm uh, marking out the top of the keg to cut the hole. Just got a bit of welding wire and filler rod and bent it up so it fits over that. Uh, tri-clover tri ferrule and just with a texture and then just already marked out the uh, the radius or the diameter that I want it to be cut at and uh, just did a mark sort of in quarters all around it and then just hook this on and line it up with one of the marks put a bit of pressure on it and then just resting the wire on the rim around a quarter at a time and uh, that'll give me something to sort of a bit of a guide when I cut it out. We'll get to that next. Righto, here we go. Ear, eye, hand protection. We'll get into it.
and cut that open now, but uh, still to clean up the inside.